Oh, good afternoon. It's uh, Saturday the 14th of August and you can probably guess I'm back on Dartmoor again. So it's been about four weeks since I've been out. Um, so I thought I'd come out again, just again, another quick overnighter. Uh, I think I may do another two-nighter towards the end of the month, but that's a maybe at the moment. So I've just gone past Meldon, which is over in that direction. Uh, West Westham Valley is up that way. I'm heading up to Salton Tor, which is up there. Uh, and this tonight's camp, I'm heading probably towards Great Links. Uh, probably end up doing either Arms Tour or Brat Tour. Uh, I have not been over there for a couple of years. Uh, I haven't camped there for even longer than that. So I thought I'd give it a whirl because tomorrow what I want to do, um, we have the old railway line down below, which they made into a cycle track years ago. And I've always wanted to walk it. Um, I've seen a few people walking it in the past on YouTube. And I've always wanted to go down and look at the void that just down below Salton Tor, which I'll show you in a minute. So without further ado, I'm going to get it sorted. I'll see you there. Right, a slight change of plan. Um, that's Brat Tour. I was up on the top of Arms Tour. Uh, I had intended to camp up there tonight, but unfortunately it's so windy, I don't think my shuttle would have it, uh, handled it very well. So um, I've now popped down to this valley. That's great nodding there in the background. So I'm going to pitch, I'm thinking, down here. It's within the permitted wild camping area, uh, the river's down there, but I do need to get some water. So I'm going to head down there, but I have seen there is a tent just down in the valley there. So I may um, pitch up near that one thing. Right, it's half past seven. Uh, I've got my water now. I'm now down below Arms Tour and Brat Tour. I'm at uh, Nodding Gate, I believe it's called, because that's great nodding over there. Um, it's a gentleman around the corner I've just spoke to a minute ago. But uh, as you can see, the shout was up using a Luna Solo uh, Exped Sim Mat and the Cumulus 250 Quilt, which is lofting up. Uh, I'm now about to do my tea. Um, I've got some sausages, uh, bread. Um, I've got my little mini frying pan. I'm using meths this time. Um, I'll have that with a cup of tea, I think, and have a snack later on. But yeah, I chose this area because I've been looking at this area before in the past, but I would have been up there on arms tour, but it was just too damn windy up there. And down here, it's uh, quite a nice little breeze. Um, ground wise, I've had to use a stone to knock my pegs in. Uh, I think I may have bent one, but uh, at least the shelter was up. So uh, I'm going to have some tea now and uh, I'll catch you all in a bit. Right, it's 10 to 8 now, so I made myself a cup of tea. I'm using the Outkit 400 with the Storm in Norman Cone. Um, an idea I had back along was use the bottom half of the cone and I can put the mini Trangia frying pan on top. I am using an SPB burner at the moment. Uh, it seems to be doing all right now. Just also using my uh, little windscreen as well. So uh, touch wood, fingers crossed and all that, this will work. But uh, I'll show you the results anyway. Right, I have a bit of an issue going on here. Um, that SP burner, it's, it's been a good burner. I haven't used it for a while and I left it filled with mess. So what I've done, I got it lit and then it seemed to go out so I've refilled it, basically overflowed it with mess. And I think it's because I'm using the bottom half of it, it's probably not getting enough oxygen to go in and it kept stifling it out because uh, there are no air holes along the top, just the bottom. So what I've done, I do have another burner. I have the original burner that came with the Storm and Norman Cone. Uh, that's in the bag, but what I'm doing, I'm just using a couple hexamine blocks at the moment. Uh, that should work. I've got about four or five of them with me. So if not, I'm going to have to use the little pot stand I got and try and work something out with that, I think. 
But uh, anyway, I'll show you the proof of the pudding as they say. Well, that little SPB burner and stand combination plus the mini Dranger did a good job because uh, there's the result. One three sausage burnt into a crisp covered in tomato sauce sandwich. So I'm going to enjoy this sausage sandwich now. If I don't do any more filming, you know I've been ill. Yeah, it's approaching nine o'clock now. Uh, I enjoyed that sausage sandwich. The uh, SPB burner combination did pretty well. So at the moment, I've made myself another cup of tea and I'm having a crunch bar there. So uh, as I said, it's nearly nine o'clock. I'm thinking now, I'm glad I didn't go up to Arms Tour after all. It's still quite windy. I can, you can see the clouds moving across pretty fast and Great Links Tour is actually covered in mist. So uh, it's not a bad little spot down here. It's uh, right next to the water. Uh, I don't know what the flies will be like, but there is a breeze still, but it's not cold. Um, but yeah, let's see how it goes. I may do a bit of time lapse later on. If not, I'll catch you all in the morning. And good morning. It's seven o'clock. It's uh, not a bad morning. It's quite warm. At least it's dry. It's been a bit windy during the night, and it's rained a few times as well. So. Uh, yeah, didn't sleep too bad. It took me a while to get to sleep, but yeah, quite comfortable at night. At least I wasn't sliding around on the mat. So, shelter I've just left up, that's dry, and all my gear's packed away now. And at the moment, I've got some water on the go. I'm going to do my breakfast first, which is uh, something to eat, scrambled egg and cheese. And I'm going to let it rehydrate in a gram counter gear thermal pocket. And uh, then I'll do some more water, and then have a cup of tea. Uh, and then I'll uh, pack up the rest of my gear, and... Uh, I'll crack on I think. Now it's a bit early for me, it's not even quarter past eight and I'm all packed up, ready to go. My water bag's outside, I've just got to top it up with some extra water and the plastic sheet will go inside my rucksack in a minute. But usual thing guys, leave no trace, that is where I was pitched last night, just a flat bit of ground. All my rubbish is inside my rucksack so just remember when you come up on the moors or anywhere take your rubbish home with you. So let's get my water done and crack on from here. Right, that's Great Links tour up there, Little Links, Arms tour. This is Great Nodding. I've just walked along the track from that way and I've now made it up to the little uh, bridge, if you can call it that, which uh, leads away from Great Nodding. So uh, I'm going to stop here for a minute, have a drink, and then carry on. Yeah, it's 10 o'clock now, and I'm finally on the Granite Way. Um, I got down here a few minutes ago, and I've just walked down to this bridge, because according to the map, the cycle way ends at this bridge, but obviously it just keeps on going, so I've had cyclists come and go past me in the last few minutes. So I'm now going to walk back into Elkhampton, uh, I come off the moor on the little bridle way, uh, just up there. Uh, so I just walked down here a couple hundred metres just to see what's what. So I'm now going to walk the next seven miles back into Old Camden. So at least it's an easy walk, nice and flat. Uh, there is a bit of shelter with the trees here and that, I suppose. Anyway, let's get cracking. Yeah, I'm approaching the uh, lake viaduct. And uh, there's this little hut. Yeah, looks like it's got a chimney on the outside. And uh, yeah, don't know what this was for, but it uh, looked like they had a stove over there, but uh, one cooker or oven or something. A uh, sorting tour up on the top there. Uh, no, I've seen this viaduct for years and I've never even bothered to come in until now. And um, we've got a squirrel running on the path. We're just noticing a um, little drain hose. Yeah, if you ever walk this granite way, uh, the handy thing is every so often 
you find seats like this, which uh, do come in quite handy if you want to stop for five minutes. Right, this is obviously Prulin Moor, and right next to the cycle pathway there's a little seating area up on a bank, and there's three like this. So uh, I'm going to sit here now, have a cup of tea and uh, something to eat. Right, so it's gone half past 11, so water's on the go to make a brew, cups already, and I've just made myself a, a tuna bacon ranch and mayonnaise sandwich to go with it. Alright, this is Meldon Viaduct. It's the first time I've ever been on it in all the years I've been coming up to Dartmoor. So that's Meldon Quarry, and in the distance, it's Meldon Dam on the uh, reservoir back. All right, I've stopped off in this little area here now. It's nearly two o'clock, and I fancy someone to eat and someone to drink again. So the railway line goes through this area here. Um, the dual carriageway is on top of it. I think there's a tunnel, or something, because that's what it looked like a minute ago going through. And the footpath, the Granite Way, carries on the opposite side of the road. So I've just come off the track for a little bit, and this is a public footpath. Uh, and the old Camden camp is somewhere up that way which is the area I normally walk past when coming off the moor. So I'm just going to have a cup of tea now, just checking my rucksack cover. I've had it for several months since the first time I've used it, but yeah, he's doing a very good job. So uh, right, let's have a brew. Well, I'm definitely off the moor and I have been for some time, but I'm nearly back into Old Campton now anyway, so this would be my last bit of filming. It's been good to get back out again uh, in first time in about a month, but this was a, I see it as a trial weekend. I wanted to try somewhere else out to camping, which I haven't been for at all, and an area I haven't been to for quite a few years. And secondly, I wanted to try it, what this granite way cycle path, footpath was like. Um, yeah, as an alternative route to get off the moor, I think this is going to work quite well. I have taken my time and I've spent four, over four hours doing probably a two hour walk. But uh, like I said, it's a trial. Just want to see what it's like. So uh, yeah, if you like this one, give us a thumbs up. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them in the comments box and I'll get back to you. So for me, I'll catch you again next time. The cheers and gone.